previously on The Mob Doctor. As long as you're in Chicago, I own you. That's the deal. When Grace was an undergrad and you guys were still dating, she thought you were going to pop the question. She never said anything to me. When you left, I wrote you off, OK? I'm sorry. No! You almost had me killed. I want to make things right. If you don't leave right now, I am screaming for a cop. I am a cop. Get away from Constantine before he takes you down with him. Come on out. I don't owe you anything. You pull me out now. We lose our shot at taking out this whole operation. You stand up there with Constantine? I tried. Then I guess there's only one way for us both to get out. And that's to get back in. Marcus, you're in clinic. Brett, you're on trauma call. Okay. Grace, med surge. So, as is our tradition, those stuck working Christmas Eve are invited to the conference room at midnight. I voiced a cup of grandma's famous non-alcoholic eggnog. The rest of you, keep your pages handy. Silly season is upon us. Look who's under the mistletoe. Awkward. Always a pleasure to see you, Mrs. Devlin. You too, Dr. Robinson. Um, see you at eggnog. Ma, how did you get into the ICU? I have my ways. More important, she has cookies. And I made pianoforte for your midnight party. Oh, you didn't have to do that. And paper plates. And paper napkins. And cinnamon and sugar. Mix them together. Sprinkle them on top very lightly before they're I know not... how to do it. Brett's an amazing young man, in case you forgot. And who breaks up right before the holidays anyway? Thank you, Peanut Gallery, but it was for the best. I have to go. I love you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey. Right over there. I'm Dr. Devlin. You had me paged. Yeah. I, uh, need a doctor. And you are? Smith. Yes, call me Smith. Listen, I, I got a lot of lower back pain, and, uh, I just, uh, need some meds. All right, well, the ER is just down that hall. Listen, I'm not real good at paperwork. And I heard that you see patients off the grid. I don't know who you are, but I think you got the wrong doctor already. Right? I didn't get your name off the bathroom wall, honey. I got it from a very discreet mutual friend. You gotta help me. Hang on. Hang on. Get in there. Call it wrong. Okay. On three, two, one. Full CPT workup, cardiac enzymes, chest x ray, EKG. Accommodates in, keep you stable at 90 over 60. Devlin, what are you doing here? You're not on trauma call. Covering for Brooks, He's playing Santa in the PG. You want me to call and get him? Don't be ridiculous. What's going on? Guy syncopate in the lobby. Who is he? Said his name is Smith. Check his pockets. Good God. He was planning some serious Christmas shopping. 
Count it and tag it. Keep me posted. You get the numbers for the St. Adelos Christmas raffle? Ten for the church, ten for the priest, five for us. Hot damn Merry Christmas. Both of you are going to hell. Hey, Grace. Merry Christmas. This isn't okay, Constantine. What's not okay? Your buddy's just showing up at the hospital. What's next, a billboard on Wacker? All right, relax and tell me what the hell you're talking about. The guy you sent to me, he called himself Smith. Look, I didn't send anybody to you. What's he look like? He's in his 50s, black hair, blue eyes, got a crown tattoo on his arm. All right, his name's Russell King. He's a very dangerous man, Grace. Well, if you didn't send him to me, how'd you get my name? I got no idea. I'll look into it. It seems our old friend Russell King is back in town. With a boxing guy with the hair? That's Don King, Kobutz. Russell was the king of Maxwell Street. Got him into a beef about an unsanctioned jewelry store job. El Trapani's turf. His whole crew got whacked. Last I heard, he landed on his feet in Detroit. He's number one over there. Yeah, well, if he's back in town, he's here to do a job. If he's a skipper, why is he still pulling jobs? Because he likes the action. Believe me, boss or no boss, that never changes. Find out what the hell he's up to. Grace, thanks for meeting me here. You sent Kane to me, didn't you? I tried to call you, but you didn't answer yourself. Well, then you should have waited. I couldn't. Listen. My FBI handler wants me hooked up with another crew, otherwise he's gonna pull me out. King needs a guy, that's me. Job's tonight, Grace. Assuming you can fix up his back. Well, he may have more than a bad back. Listen, I'm really sorry you got blindsided by all this, but it's my best shot. Come on, put a smile on that face, huh? It's Christmas. I don't really feel like it. You know, I got a new apartment. It's outside of Constantine's radar. Maybe, uh, stop by sometime? I can't. Sure. Come on, what, what you and I had, it's over. I think you're making a mistake. All right, look, just, uh, let's get Russell fixed up, get him out the door. What? Well, there may be a problem. I thought King came from Constantine. I called him. You called Constantine? I thought he came from him. Constantine thinks Russell's back in town. He uses him to come after me. I'm a dead man. Hey, 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 we'll get through this, okay? We'll get through this. Gotta go. I thought you were just getting back pills. Your father passed out. What? You scared the hell out of me. Come on. I'm OK. I'm totally fine. I really am. It's OK. That's actually the morphine talking. I've got some uh, cardiac concerns. Well, I guess I'll have to switch out the bacon and eggs for oatmeal, OK? <laughs> Cholesterol doesn't actually make you pass out. Could be a change in heart rhythm, a chemical imbalance. So I have to monitor you neurologically, do serial cardiac enzymes, the whole thing. Sounds like a ball. Mm. Actually, we have plans this evening. Well, believe me, I wish you were going to. But you came in to see me. So we are stuck with each other. Hey, forget about tonight. I can handle it. At least just stay for some tests, Dad. <laughs> I'll do that for you. I'll be back soon. You go ahead and set everything up. You know what to do. Yeah, I took the photos and placed the beacon. Yeah, I had a good teacher. Wind blew down on display outside a toy store. Vitals good, GCS 13. 
cranial impalement from that antler. We stabilized it best we could. Open your eyes. Can you squeeze my hands? Non-responsive. His name's Kyle Bennett. What? Kyle Bennett. Do you know him? No. Dr. Robinson, hold that handler rock steady. Cut it off an inch from his skin so we can get a CT to assess brain trauma. Call me when it's done. Okay. Grace, you're up to assist. Something just happened there? If you're busy, I can handle cutting this down. Okay, thanks. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, call engineering. We're gonna need a hacksaw. Something like Grace was in the doghouse with Ma, on account of the fact that she had lost the Christmas shopping money coming home from school. So she comes to me and she asks me if she can borrow five bucks. And she says, Mr. Alexander, I want you to know this is very important to me and that I'm prepared to pay the Vic. <laughs> Seven years old, you believe that? Hey, uh, Mr. Alexander was just looking for you. Hey, Grace, you mind telling your friend to call me Constantine? So, Constantine, uh, can I interest you in making a contribution to the pediatrics toy drive? Absolutely. I always did have a weakness for kids. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. We'll talk later. Sarah. I don't like you coming to the hospital. You know what my greatest wish is for Christmas? That you and I could become better friends. You know what happens when someone sees us talking and puts two and two together, right? Yeah, I'm just here visiting my old friend, Russell King, and you just happen to be his doctor. I don't like you coming to the hospital. Well, it's a public place. What room's he in? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to get you in trouble. 402, make it fast. Did you figure out who referred Russell to you? Well, when you don't, let me know. If I don't see you, Merry Christmas. Hey, Russell King. Long time no see. Brings you in from Detroit, pal. My daughter likes to go shopping on the Magnificent Mile. Kids nowadays, it's all they care about is designer labels. Yeah, entitlement. They just don't understand how hard it is to earn a buck. So I understand you uh, rented out a place in Riverview. Yeah. And that you put out some feelers for a new driver. I suppose on account of the fact that your last one wasn't quick enough to dodge bullets. Yeah. Anyway, that tells me you need to do a job, Russ. What's that mean to you? Well, maybe I haven't heard, but I brought the syndicate back. No more independent contractors. You hit a pull of ice, you gotta kick up, like everybody else. I'll tell you three things. Number one. I never signed on to no syndicate. Number two, pretty sure the loop is uncontrolled territory. Number three, you and I are on the same run. Me in Detroit, you on the south side. So I guess you can just follow la yourself. <laughs> and anyway, I thought I'd tell you for old time's sake. But I guess you're not planning on ringing any new year, are you? You know, it's funny how some people just never learn. Good for the night. 
father's been... We've been uh, planning this thing for a year. If my father can't do the heavy lifting, then I will. Come on. Look, I trusted you enough to bring you in on this. Now you gotta trust me. Oh what? Like the time I got my ass kicked five years ago by the boyfriend you told me was in Vegas? <gasps> it's Christmas. You know, have a little faith. Let's see it. By tomorrow morning, I'll be rich and we'll be connected. In theory. We pick up the crew in two hours. You know, I got places to be. And my father will come through Franco. And we have all the details covered. So just sit back. Enjoy the ride. So, I bet you heard I had a visitor, eh? Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Because nobody's gonna do anything to me in a hospital. Me and him just like to shake it up a little bit. Your cardiac enzymes came back normal. Well, that's terrific. That means I can leave, right? The radiologist looked at your chest x-ray, and he saw what may be a double shadow. Well, I guess that's probably twice as bad as a single shadow, am I right? Could be nothing, but I'd like to follow up with the CT angiogram. Well, I got a few hours, I suppose. Um, Russell, did you tell Constantine who sent you to me? What do you think? I don't know what's what. I think Franco's a nice kid. I might even have a place for him. And the fact that Constantine hates him is an added plus, right? <laughs> Wow, You're pretty wise stuff for a lady doctor, aren't you? Give my daughter a run for her money. Uh, I'm sure, but I uh, like my day job. Well, don't kid yourself. So is she. She had been working for me since she was in high school. If it wasn't for her, I retire by now. I just want to get a little bit of wind under her wings until she can fly on her own. Look at me, it's not like a big sap. You know something, at the end of the day, we're all the same. Me and Constantine, we're fathers first. Constantine has kids? Maybe you ain't as wised up as I thought you were. Kyle, this is Dr. White. What happened? Did I hit my head? You have a penetrating skull injury. It's gonna need surgery. Do you know where you are, Kyle? And what day it is? I'm in some hospital. It's, it's Christmas Eve, I think. Good. Well, you're in Roosevelt Hospital. What do you remember about the injury? Nothing. I don't... It's Chicago, I know that. I just moved back here. I got a job in a toy store. What happened? A holiday display fell on you, and a piece of metal is embedded in your brain. It's Christmas, right? Right. What happened? Did I hit my head? Yes, and you're going to need surgery. Perseveration and amnesia are common with this kind of injury. They're usually temporary. What happened? Did, did I? He sees him. Adaban, what I be? Brain is swelling. You gotta get the antler out. All grace is scrubbing now. Can pull you away from anything important. Cardiac patient, no big deal. Good. I'm sorry, this music's driving me insane. Can you shut it off, please? Thank God. Grinches. All right, Kyle, we're in surgery now. We woke you up so you can help us identify your speech, motor, and sensory centers, and we can remove the antlers safely. OK. All right, I need you to tell me what sensation you have when I touch locations in your brain with a probe. Uh, my right leg feels tingly.
And now my right arm. Oh, wow, that light's really bright. Kyle, are you okay? Yeah, it smells like Wrigley Field. My dad used to take me. I can smell the, the fresh cut grass and, and the hot dogs and the sticky green benches. Dr. White, is something wrong? No. Uh, it's not magnifying Luke's Kathy. Could you wipe him, please? Okay. with Russell King and uh, Benny followed his daughter from the hospital. You were right. They're looking at his score. Show him the pictures. Here she is at the back of the Randisi auction house. That makes sense. Gold in a big auction this week. It's got to be at least $10 million worth of rocks there. She's casing the joint, all right. Guy I talked to said she was there this morning. What's with the road work? Could be a coincidence. Best to figure out a way to tunnel in. He's letting the Chicago water department do the heavy lifting. That's what I figured too. So I reached out to our union contacts at the CWD. Turns out they're doing repairs. They got about uh, two blocks where the water main is being shut down tonight, 10 p.m. for about six hours. I got to hand it to Russell. It's a great plan. Using the water main to get into the auction. What do you want to do about it? I think I'm gonna go visit our friends over at CW thing. See if they can open up the tunnel. Huh? Give Russell a little Christmas surprise. I play my best for him. Hey. Hey. You have any idea what's going on with Dr. White? Chief of surgery doesn't usually do bedside monitoring. Yeah, he was weird in the OR, too. I think something's going on in his personal life. Yeah, it has one. I always thought he came out of the womb wearing a lab coat. <laughs> I'm gonna check on him. Okay. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's sleeping comfortably. Vitals are stable. Is everything okay? I mean, I know it's none of my business. No, it's fine. I had a son, stepson, actually, with the same name, Kyle Bennett. He would have been about this age now. He and his mother had been killed in a car crash. Oh, I didn't know. When his mother and I first got together, it was tough on Kyle. I, I was looking for a way to bond. So I bought us Cubs tickets. Did it work? I was bored out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, you know, I pretended that my head was stuck in surgery. But until the time the Marlins hit a three-run homer and screwed our season. 
Carl and I scream all the way home. I realized something had changed. He taught me how to love baseball. And baseball taught me how to love him. And from then on, he was my son. And the Cubs were my team. So when this Kyle mentioned Wrigley Field... Yeah, grief is a funny thing. You think it's healed, but... once in a while, the sutures get torn open. I'm so sorry. Appreciate it. Grace, the radiologist said Mr. Smith's angio is back. at midnight. Mm -hmm. Hey. Look who's back. Is there anyone I can call for you? There was just my mom. But she passed away. So, here we are. Russell King has an abdominal aortic aneurysm. It's leaking. And a AAA would cause back pain, chest pain, and syncope. And when it blows, he'll bleed to death in minutes. I'll order an emergency surgical consent form. Dr. Devlin, would you mobilize the cardiovascular team and set up for cardiac bypass? Oh, damn it. He took off. Looks like he left you a tip. Yeah, put it in the toy drive. Where are you going? If I don't find him, he's gonna die. Hey, it's not a good time. You gotta get Russell back to the hospital. He's got an aortic aneurysm that's about to rupture. Right, whatever it is, it's gonna have to wait an hour, maybe two. The wall of his major artery is about to rip open. He doesn't have an hour or two. Tell me where you are. No way. Franco, he's gonna die. He's 100 feet into a water main right now, all right? I, I can't get to him. Is that the doctor? What's she want? <sighs> Your father's in trouble. Listen, the radios are out of range. I can't contact him. Whatever it is you are doing, you've got to pull him out, okay? Tell me where you are and I will meet you. I don't want you involved in this. I already am. Tell me. She wants to come down here. Okay. All right, we're in a box truck around Lower Wacker and Garland Court. I'll go get him out. Is it serious? We're already practically through the floor. You want me to tell Amanda that this is more important than her having a father?
Grace, they're in trouble. Where are they? The valves are opening along the part of the water main that my father and the crew are in. Look, that's them. Those red lights along the main are sensors. They're supposed to be red. That means that the main is shut down and there's no water. We're supposed to have five more hours. But they're flooding chamber by chamber. Constantine must be trying to drown them. Oh Is this live? Yeah, but I, I think they're out of range. Franco? Franco Come on. Let me go back and finish. No. Come on. No way, man. We got to get you out of here. Go. Come on. Where the hell is the water running? Franco, where are you? Grace, I got Russell. You have to get out of there right now. We're moving pretty fast. You will move go. faster. Constantine paid off a CWD crew. We're going to open the valve. What? What, Grace? That tunnels are filling up with water right behind you. Constantine paid them off. Constantine? Well, he must have figured out what you were doing. You have to get out of there right now. Let's go. Let's go. There's one in the tunnel. Go! Franco? Can you hear me? Dad? Grace! Water! You know, uh, you're really good. You know, I, I sing a little myself. <laughs> my, uh, my ex-wife, actually, she. Let uh, me get a triple scotch. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Well, how did it go with the CWD boys? Yeah, they were a little ticked off for a second about having their Christmas interrupted. You know, I was thinking, Russell King doesn't make it tonight. That'll leave a void in Detroit. To uh, expansion opportunities in the new year. The Motor City. Hey, boss. A couple words for the boys. Fellas, as you all know, we've had a good year. I want to wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas. And if any of you guys would care to join me right now, I'm about to go to Midnight Mass. I mean, if you can tear yourself away from these beautiful ladies, that is. Anybody? I didn't think so. Salud! Salud! Oh, my God. Grace, we're coming out. All right, come on. All right. Come on. Relax, Grace. Out. Right. Easy. All right. Dad! Dad! Right. What's wrong with you? All right, lay him down. We need to call him. Slow, 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 Hey, outside, now. We need space. Get him in. Go, go. Come on, move! Stick this in that and run it through. Sailing through as fast as possible. His abdomen's rock hard. What does that mean? It means his aneurysm is blown. He's bleeding into his abdominal cavity. His chronic pulse is weak and thready. We're losing him. He's not going to make it till the ambulance gets here. We have to crack his chest open. Are you kidding me? Well, it's unsterile and it's unlikely, but it's his only chance. Stick the IV under his shoulder. Put these on. cut between his ribs and get in and squeeze his aorta closed. If it works, it'll buy us a few minutes until the ambulance gets here. You sure you can handle this? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Put your fingers in on either side of the incision and pull his ribs open. No, it isn't. Pull harder. Are you sure? Pull! Come on! Oh, God! Found the aorta, pinching it shut. That was nasty. Okay, grab my cell phone. In my jacket pocket. Speed dial the sick you. SICU Flanagan. Is it mine in Flanagan? Okay, tell him it's me. We need the vascular team to meet us in the Ambo Bay and to clear an OR. Yeah, I'm with Dr. Devlin. We need the vascular unit to meet us in the Ambo Bay. Who is this? And clear an OR. Dr. 
Rupture, triple A, pressure on his thoracic aorta, four liters of saline are in. Who's this patient? Well, he donated 10 grand to the toy drive. I think it'd be nice if we kept him alive. You can explain yourself later. Get him prepped. Hey, how'd the surgery go? So did an aortic graft transfuse 12 units? Think I made it off the table. Talk about a Christmas miracle. Oh, he's on every antibiotic known to man. I hope he doesn't get septic. I know you could do that. I spend a lot of time here. Oh, so what happened? Did you do that for Constantine Alexander? It wasn't for him, it was for Franco. Look, I've had my share of bad boys, so I get the appeal, but... And I say this with love. You're a complete idiot. Wow, whatever you do, don't hold back. You've been looking for a guy just like Brett, and here he is, Grace. I appreciate the advice, but right now I can't deal with it, okay? No, you've worked your ass off to get here, and I'm not gonna let you sabotage yourself by making these ridiculous choices. Well, choice isn't exactly a familiar concept at this moment. You have choices. You just need the guts to make them. My life is a murky mess. And Brett would never understand. But Franco does. <laughs> I want to get some eggnog. I heard you made quite the impression downstairs. Apparently you on the gurney is better than Santa on a sleigh. <laughs> yeah, that was um pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, so did you do it? Hey, Dr. Flanagan, did you hear we raised $12,000 for the toy drive? Great, right in time for Kwanzaa. Dr. Robinson, you want her down in the ER? Carol or slipped on the ice, possible hip fracture. Okay, be right there. Um, Merry Christmas, Grace. Yeah, you too. Would you like some of my mother's panaforte? Fruitcake makes me gag. So you just happened upon your eloped triple A patient and cracked his chest in the field? Lucky for him, right? A real Christmas miracle. Yeah, much like the 11th century nun who uh, miraculously devised this very recipe. Throw away the devil with it. Heavenly aroma. Hmm. I think I'll stick with Granny's eggnog. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, in your office, you have all the, the baseball memorabilia? Is that because that of your son? Yeah. Feelings are tough, but memories are good. You okay? Sure. We move on. We have to. We let new people into our lives. It's really quiet tonight. You want to take off? OK, thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Here, catch. Good. Reflexes within normal range. Sammy Sosa, Carry Wood, Mark Pryor. <laughs> How did you get this? I operated on the trainer's mom. <laughs> I want you to have it. I'd wrap it, but I'm all thumbs when it comes to that kind of thing. Are you kidding me? Thank you. What's on? A holiday. Cary Grant. You want to watch? Yes. I do.
don't think Santa's coming this year Cause I've been a bad, a bad girl I've made my bed, now I'm lying in it Without a care, a care in the world And I took his heart This year Cause I've been a bad A bad Father Xavier was on his game tonight, boys. Should have been there. Maybe next year. Listen, uh, Russell King and his crew, they got away. That's all right. Message sent. You know, Franco was there, boss. If Franco crewed up with Russell, it's, uh, it's gonna be challenging. That's all right. I like a good challenge. You know, there was someone else there with him. Grace. She helped Frank go with Russell. I'm gonna go find her, bring her in to see you. Nah. I'll deal with Grace on my own time. It's Christmas, boys. Everybody deserves one night of peace.